Hi, I'm Mahbu Bakhtari and I'm here to show you how a material can be designed and its property can be analyzed using material science software. First, I open the software and it's now ready to work. And I want to create a new project, so I select the first one instead of the second. And if I select the second one, the existing project can be opened. Okay. And I I can redirect the file location and I selected it as desktop. I can rename this file and I decided to construct zinc oxide. So I named this file zinc oxide test case. Now this software is ready to work. I maximize this. This is actually interface of material science software. Where I can utilize different tools to design and analyze this material. First I take a new canvas and I selected 3D atomistic option okay my canvas is actually ready to work here I can change my background color I will show you later I can rename this file as 3D atomistic I want to build a crystal so I have selected these options build build crystal and since a crystal has its fingerprint known as a space group and I have to select the space group of this material for zinc oxide it's P63MC that is 186 number and its structure is hexagonal after that I can apply these selections these selected tools at the same time I can apply lattice parameters values but here I will apply just these two Sometimes people use all options instead of hexagonal or any other structure. But we, since we know the actual structure, we can select this more precisely. And we applied this. And after that, we will insert lattice parameters value. For zinc oxide, the value of A along x axis is 0. Oh, sorry, 3.250 and C is 5.210 angstrom. And here, alpha, beta, and gamma angles are predetermined by this software. And I apply that. The framework of this material is ready. Now I have to insert atoms in a right place in this structure. I selected zinc, okay. After that, I have to insert the coordinates of zinc atom 0 0.333 for A, 0 0.666 for B, and 0 0.000 for C axis. add the zinc atoms are taking its place and after that i selected oxygen atom 
and the behavior of A and B are same for oxygen as zinc, but C axis has a different value, and I have to insert this different value as 0 0.375. Okay, add it. So here we can see the structure in 360 degree view. And the atoms are like line structure. I can reshape this and I can change the background color and bond color where the bluish gray are representing zinc and red are representing oxygen we can reform and regenerate this structure using some other tools and can make a better view of this material I select atomic view as C P K and I can readjust the size of the balls. And if I select this lattice and select in cell. And transform the boundary color from white to black. I can change the background from black to white. Oh, that's fine. It's looking different. Okay. White is fine. It's looking better than before. And now we want to calculate its geometrical property, its optical property, and many other properties using these cast tape tools. It's usually packaged code for numerical calculations in simulation software we select calculation option and get this search by adjusting some values and parameters and select some options such as geometry optimization for optimizing its geometry and formation enthalpy To calculate exchange correlation energy for this structure, we select GGA, Generalized Gradient Approximation, among other options, and PBE. Deselect metal because zinc oxide is a semiconductor material. Now electronic. Oh, before electronic, we can control the computer efficiency, such as selecting these, run in parallel four out of four cores, and select speed. And nothing should be changed in more option. And Come back to electronics we can customize cut up energy and here we can find out that the stability condition for formation enthalpy where it becomes minimum adjusting cut up energy and k point in brilliant zone space
the larger the value of k point which we have customized the accuracy will be more for this iteration as it is a test case i select me minimum value for k point 442 so that the program can be run in very short time now i can select the properties uh, optical and many other properties and population analysis from this tool and the program is ready to run okay run it After a few minutes, the program has been run successfully and its output result file has been obtained here. The resultant file can show us the value of lattice parameter, cell volume, the total number of ions in a unit cell, and different other parameters which we can observe in this output file. After that, we can calculate optical properties, band structure, density of states, and many other properties using these tools and adjusting some parameters. For instance, we are interested in calculating band structure and density of states. So we command this software for that and wait for a little bit to observe the output result. Here a new structure with brilliant zone path has resulted and it's indicating some directions these directions are actually k point representation in k space and we will see these points in band structure diagram Here is the output result and the program has been run successfully. This is the result file. After completing calculation successfully, we can analyze these results using this CASTIP tool. We select Analyze for band structure. And here, select band structure and finally, view. Oh, select Show DOS, density of states, and view to see simultaneous representation of band gap and density of states in case space.
here the band gap we have found that 0 0.798 electron volt for this pure zinc oxide and this point is actually gamma point which show the direct band gap and the right side graph representing density of states we can analyze and view only those sections only those properties which have been calculated already like this we can calculate and analyze different other properties for this material by selecting different tools this is an overview for the total procedure i hope it will help you thank you